Hi guys, it's Bunny Girl and welcome to brand new Ask Bunny. I haven't made Ask Bunny in a while. I know, I know. Stop yelling at me, bros. Also, see this is cute and adorable. Should it look? Think and we have another bunny here. You know it. You know it. He's always here with us. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't made. I mean, Ask Bunny in a while. I know that, but I've been busy and doing other things as well but here i am again i did post on my facebook page and asked you to ask me some questions so here i am answering some of the questions that you asked me thank you for asking any questions leave a comment below without further ado let's start first question is by tarun crosby and he asked bunny girl are you ready for e3 if so then what games are you looking forward to seeing or want to show up at e3 i am excited i actually want to see some of the games that they announced already i don't know what new games they will be bringing but let me just mention some of the games that i'm excited to see dishonor 2 is one of the games that i am pretty excited about also detroit is one of the game i'm excited about and let me just remember Recore is by Microsoft, but I will be waiting to see how well the game is optimized before buying it because I already had a really bad experience with Quantum Break on Microsoft 10. Another game that I am excited about is Horizon Zero Dawn, just to see maybe some game kill them. gameplay footages and of course Mass Effect 4. The most anticipated thing for me is actually to see Battlefield 1 and Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. I just want to see how much one sucks and the other one is so good and I'm... I don't know. I, I really wish, 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 wish and hope so that Call of Duty is not as bad as the trailer is because the trailer is one of the most disliked videos on YouTube right now. Yeah. Costas Tatsos asked, if you had the chance to make your own video game, what would you create? You can have all the money you need, no restrictions. I don't know, maybe we are to go around the world and meet different people. Well, actually, maybe go throughout history, something like Assassin's Creed, but to meet all these famous people and talk with them and have like hundreds, if not thousands of different answers and like socialize with people, even though you can do that in real life. But you can meet people who are already dead and are significant in real life now. Maybe go throughout history, change some events and see how how the future looks like with your own like uh, building and development my games would suck my game no one would play my game Stephen Jabs asked I know you must always get questions like this but I mean this is serious as possible how often your students try to flirt with you I don't have students anymore they did flirt with me when I was a teacher but I wasn't on YouTube back then I just was starting and whatnot I had a couple of comments but yeah, now I'm a full-time YouTuber, guys, and Twitch streamers, yeah, if you didn't guess that. Randall Sindrel asks, trying to think of something crazy. Would you either be annoyed or amused if your life had cartoon sound effects? Crazy enough? Zakaria Mu'ahed, Mu'ahed asked, what's your story with Bunny? Well, actually, this Bunny, I, I do have a story. I actually went to InfoGamer last year in November and one of you, the subscribers, came there to meet me and bought me a lot of Kit Kat, Kit Tic Tacs, not Kit Kat, Tic Tac, and bought me this Bunny and I didn't, I wasn't able to meet him. I was everywhere and people tried to find me and they couldn't find me and he had to go with his parents back home and he left that at the door like with some girls and they tried to find me. Once they found me like that, they said like, oh, this is from one of the fans or whatnot, the subscribers. And when I opened it, I saw this bunny. I fell in love with it immediately. And since then until now, like, almost a year and i still have it and it's so precious so once you meet me if you ever meet me in your life bring me a bunny and i will cherish it forever honestly that's how much i care and i do next question is by roni boss you're the boss man if you had to choose between star wars and the flash which universe would you be bro bro come on i do like the flash a lot but his universe is almost as our universe which is yeah yeah 
if there weren't any some like superhumans it would be almost the same so i would go for star wars of course seeing all of these different creatures out there and being a jedi myself and for sure i would be a jedi there yeah is this bad am i not supposed to do this with the bunny <laughs> james m stafford what is the worst and best thing which has happened to you the worst thing losing someone special in my life the best thing youtube and twitch SK Gaming, the best horror game Outlast 2 is on its way. How do you know it's the best game? Outlast 1 was the best game, but Outlast 2, how do you know it's the best game? I mean, <laughs> okay. if we demand it, will you play it for us bunnies to keep us safe from the horror? How about you keep me safe from dying in front of you? Because I honestly hate playing horror games i feel so scared and i feel like i would die in front of the camera yeah, that would be the end of bunny would you like that would you like me to die in front of you leave a comment in the Donaka, Donacha, Ryan, how awesome is awesome? Please, I need to know. <laughs> so I really went with and tried to honestly, tried so hard to find out the definition of awesome and finally I found it. If you want to be awesome, you need to have five things. Five things and it's almost impossible to have them all. Let let, let stay tuned. Number one, in order to be awesome, you really need this cool suit on with the mask, of course. You really need that attitude, like. Number two, you need this yellow backpack. Three, you need the sunglasses. Hmm. Casey, nice that glasses, because why not? Number four, you need to win Game of Thrones and be on the throne and wear this crown. You know, wear it like a bunny does. And last but not least, you need to fly. Once you do all these five things, you will be awesome. And that's the definition of awesome for all the bunnies out there. Marius Subon asked, how many carrots do you eat per day? Zero, because I'm not a real bunny. <laughs> In your face. Stanko Vilcek asked, what makes you happy? Satisfaction. Honestly, I've been asked this question a lot, but if you are satisfied with your life and your life choices and everything you do in life, that will make you happy. If you're not satisfied, you're miserable. Gears of Arkham asked me on one of my latest Ask Bunny videos, and yeah, it was a long time ago, but he asked me, just curious, did you get your silver plate from YouTube yet for getting one? <laughs> They're trying to find my country. They said that they will be sending it like one month ago, and they still didn't arrive, even though they it's, it's on its way, but it's lost somewhere, and it's trying to find where Bosnia is. They said it's coming, so let's believe them and wait. Be patient. I'm patient. I'm trying to be patient. Bijan Peters, Bian, Bijan, Bian Peters asked, can you tell us a story from where you were a child? Yeah, let's go with the story time for another time, but here is the start and the title would be, when I was young, I had a crush. I fell down and farted in front of him. Honestly, that happened. So if you want to know the whole story, let me know in the comments below. Lucian Amarande asked, What's your opinion on new trailer Inferno? You read the book. What is your opinion? Honestly, I put this question because I didn't know that there was an Inferno trailer. I didn't know that Inferno movie is coming out. And I did mention that Inferno and Dan Brown's books are one of my favorite books and he's one of my favorite author and I really, really like him. So I can't wait to see the movie and I'm going to check the trailer after recording this video because I'm really intrigued. I didn't know that there is a movie coming out. A local Lopez asked, would you rather live in a horror movie or a horror game? If I am living in a horror game, if I am the main character, it means, ouch, it means that I am actually somehow controlled by someone else. But if I am in a horror movie and I am the main person, you are just the watcher and you watch what I do and you have to deal with it. So I would go for the horror movie because I would be in control, you know? G Gaming asked, what's your favorite point in world history? 
I really like World Wars and World War One is a really fascinating time for me. I know it's bad, a lot of people died, but there were a lot of genius things that were happening at that time and I enjoy watching movies from World War One and World War Two. One of the movies or the latest movies that I seen and I really liked a lot is called Valkyrie and this name will come later on in this video as well because I have another answer that is dedicated to the same title, the same name, but never mind that. <laughs> when it comes to the movie, it deals with World War Two and one of the latest unsuccessful attempts to assassinate Adolf Hitler it was like almost successful but they missed a couple of seconds or minutes and that's why he didn't die at that time even though he killed himself nine months later but yeah who cares now and the last question for today as I said the answer you already know maybe from the previous question but Scott Summers asked if you could be a mythical creature what creature would it be Valkyrie is the name of the creature and I will show you some pictures she looks amazing she's a female mythical creature a legend and she actually is like the angel of death because she's in battles and she chooses who lives and dies and the one who dies she takes them with them to the hall of death and it's like a place where the god of Odin or Odin I don't know how to pronounce his name he's actually uh, it's his land and all of the ones who died and went there they are actually fighters now for that god and yeah it's an amazing story and sometimes searching for Valkyrie and seeing a lot of picture fantasy picture from fantasy games what I actually found which is pretty interesting in my opinion is this picture I think you can see it here here is somewhere it's from a game it's a character from a game and it looks almost exactly it's identical to the Valkyrie skin of mercy in overwatch what do you think about this creature guys and which mythical creature would you choose actually if you have any really cool female creatures that you like leave a comment below let me know i'm honestly interested in this question and i would like to search more about it maybe find some quizzes about mythical creatures and whatnot let me know if that's something that interests you thank you so much for asking me so many questions guys and hopefully i will see you very soon let me know if you want to see more of ask bunny I'm going to just relax and play Overwatch. That's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please, please, please leave a like, like, like this. And also subscribe for more content, for more Bunny Girl and Ask Bunny and things like that. And stay tuned for more. That's it. Bunny Girls out.